What's up, Wizards? Dev back again, SPMTG. Got some spoilers again here for you, and I wish I could say I was super excited, but I'm kind of not. We got our last Planeswalker here today. This is Gideon, and here he is. That's it, really. I like his creature version. A one mana, two one. That's kind of cool. I mean, we have a few of those in the format right now. I like the built-in uh, indestructibility, but you have to pay mana for it. That's kind of meh. But in any case, when he flips over, I really don't care about any of these abilities. I really don't. I mean, he does the opposite of protect himself for his first ability, which I'm sure a lot of people have said. Um, he does go up to five loyalty, but I don't, I don't care that much. Um, his second ability makes a creature indestructible to your next turn. That's... I mean, most second abilities are just way better than that one, is all I'm going to say. And his third ability, he becomes a 4-4, you can do that, the turn he flips, whatever. It's just not, I don't, eh, who cares about, like, any of these abilities. And obviously the, the idea is to flip him on the fourth turn, you know, swing with him and two other guys. Fourth turn, flip him. You can also swing, you can, you know, flip him third turn if you, like, raise the alarm on the second turn. That's a thing, I guess, but I'm just not really... I'm terribly underwhelmed <laughs> by by Gideon here. As as I was afraid that I was, I was thinking maybe they're holding off on him because he's gonna be really good, but it seems to be the opposite of that. I'm sure this card will have its fans. It's a one mana, two one that does awesome stuff. And maybe that has a place, honestly. I mean a one mana guy that becomes a four four that can't take damage a little later on in the game. It sounds like it could be good. I just I'm I'm just in no way, you know, excited about Gideon here. He's probably got his fans. Let me know what you think about Gideon. I got a couple more cards I want to talk about here, but Gideon's obviously the main attraction here today. I'm just, I'm not going to say he's the worst one or anything, because I'm not sure. You know, there's him and Nyssa, but we all thought they'd probably be tied, and they certainly are, turns out. Um, just not a big fan. But I, I do want to know what you think, if you have any sort of scenarios where maybe he's awesome, or maybe I'm just missing that he's a one mana 4-4 four, four, with a turn investment. You know, you put it that way, that sounds really good. Let me touch on two cards very quickly here. Um, Chandra's Ignition, these were two cards spoiled yesterday. I was just waiting for more, like, bomby stuff to come out. But Chandra's Ignition, obviously a bomb in the limited environments. And um, aside from that, the only thing I really want to say is that I hope this is a cycle, that every Planeswalker has an Ignition, sort of, you know, when their spark came, that moment has a card. Because... This, you know, the idea of this being a cycle definitely has potential, but obviously I don't see this thing seeing any standard play and like whatsoever. And finally, if I have one card that I am excited about today, it's this, Ravaging Blaze. This thing is ridiculous, I think. I mean, it's not like top tier, incredible, best card ever, whatever, but I do think that an instant speed X spell for burn that always hits at least, you know, the creature and will almost always hit the player. I mean, this spell mastery nonsense is incredibly easy to get to. I think we can all agree. I mean, in a burn deck, you're going to be there in like two or three turns. It's not in any way hard. So I think Spell Mastery is a really, really cool mechanic, first of all. Can't wait to see what it does on other cards because it's probably... This This is the kind of ability, this is the kind of ability that that reeks of a very good card. Somewhere, you know, like they can definitely do really cool stuff with this. And this may be one of them. I mean, instant speed possible like, end of turn, kill a creature and burn you for, you know, five. That sounds pretty awesome. And a hell of a finisher, even though they do have to have board presence for this to hit them. That's kind of meh, but instant speed, you know, two red is kind of bleh. But I, I think that I'm probably going to say that this is like a six and three quarters or something like that, because it could see play. I mean, this, this sort of gives us an idea for you know, maybe mono red burn or red white burn even could actually be a thing, you know, but I just want, I don't want to get too hype about this card, but as, as far as the ability goes, spell mastery is great. Well, that's all we got for today. I think there's probably going to be some spoilers coming down here pretty soon. It's almost the weekend, and we're probably going to get just the way spoilers have worked here this past, you know, year or, you know, two years. We're probably going to start seeing a lot of spoilers fairly soon, starting in the weekend or possibly this coming up Monday. So stick with us, subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I am Dev from Strictly Better MTG. Make sure you like, share, always comment because we like to know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Thanks for watching, my wizards.